hello everyone this is the first video of uh, statistics series so in this video we are going to talk about sample and population and I hope uh, you will understand this concept after watching this video so uh, in order to understand uh, this concept uh, I'm taking a real-life example so let's say uh, you invited some of your friends at your home and you baked cookies for them now you are not a pro in baking cookie and you are a bit concerned about uh, what you baked is good to eat or not so what you did you actually took few of them and you tested it on your own now the question is why did you take one or two like you could have eaten all of them but that's not the objective the objective is to serve those cookies to your friend and you just need to find out whether it tastes good or not and that's why you decided to eat only one or two so here if you can uh, see the similarity with the sample and population concepts you you had entire uh, uh, bowl of your cookie you could have eaten all of them but still you decided to eat only two one or two of them and then you kind of uh, inferred that if those two taste good the rest of the cookies also taste good now your this inference actually depend on an assumption if the ingredient you use to bake that cookie if those ingredients are mixed well and uh, properly throughout all the cookies then your inference is good but just imagine what will happen if uh, some of the ingredients are not mixed well and uh, they ended up in only one or two cookies and if a person is going to eat those cookies he might find taste not that good so this is the first example now check the next example so this is our guy mr x he went for a blood test now i assume that you also might have some experience of blood test so usually they take only a small amount of blood now they could have taken your entire blood <laughs> Do you think it will make sense like you you would die so they will take only a sample so the thing is uh, what I'm trying to say here is sometimes uh, there are some constraint that uh, we so because of those constraint we can cannot have access to the entire population so in this case the population will be the entire blood of this person but uh, because of this constraint we can get only a small amount of blood and sometime we want to save resources so now coming to sample and population so population we can say uh, it includes all the members of the defined group under study so it depends on your study what uh, you are trying to investigate and uh, on the basis of your study your population is defined now once the population is defined a subset of your population is considered sample so in the case of our cookies example all of the cookies uh, form a population and when you selected one or two cookies out of them then those cookies considered as a sample and the second example the entire blood all the blood from this person is considered the population but only a small amount of blood is taken for the test and that amount is considered as a sample now how this uh, population and sample we can define for our study so we will have a look here so let's say you want to study the performance of all the students in your class so if you look at your the search question or sorry your, your aim of your study so you want to study all the students in your class so your focus is all the students in your, your particular class 
so the population here will be all the students from that class now if you have a, another uh, study aim so for instance if you want to study the performance of all the students in your school so here the population is different so the population here is every student from your school and in the last study if you are studying the performance of all the students in your state so here the population is different so if you can see here the population depends on the aim of your study or uh, if you if we look at the definition here so population includes all the members of the defined group so here the defined group is all the students in the class here all the students in the school and here all the students in the state so this group is considered as population now one important thing to remember is in population when we talk about a characteristic of population that is called parameter and usually for instance uh, if we are computing the average of population so we will call that parameter now the same characteristic for the sample is called statistic so for instance uh, let's say you want to study the average salary of people in a particular region now the average salary in the population will be known as parameter while uh, the same characteristics the same measure in the sample will be called as statistic thank you very much for watching this video so in the next video we will talk about distribution what is distribution why this is important